Inter Miami versus Al Nasser score result. Highlights as Talisca pummels MLS club with Messi and Ronaldo injured Inter Miami's long and arduous 2024 preseason tour took a turn for the worse as the MLS club was pummeled 6-0 by Saudi Pro League club Al Nasser in a friendly from Riyadh on Thursday. The match was billed as the last dance, considered the likely final chapter in Lionel Messi's rivalry with fellow global superstar Cristiano Ronaldo. However, that was far from the eventual reality. Ronaldo picked up a calf injury a week ago and could not recover in time to participate. Messi was initially excluded from Inter Miami's squad, but a late change saw him added to the substitute's bench, and he came on for the final six minutes of the match. Anderson Talisca starred for Al Nasser, bagging a hat-trick with Ronaldo sideline. Otavio and Mohamed Moran were also exceptional in the blowout win. Inter Miami's defensive woes were on full display here, just days after being beaten 4-3 by another top Saudi club Al-Hilal. Additionally, they were smothered up front in Messi's absence, with Luis Suarez and Leonardo Campana both kept quiet. Tata Martino has a lot of work to do as the club gears up for the 2024 season with Inter Miami jetting off to Hong Kong for another match just three days later. Six minutes of added time mercifully come to an end, and Inter Miami are humbled by a large scoreline in Riyadh. It's deserved too, as the 90 minutes were laden with defensive errors, goalkeeping gaffes, and midfield mistakes. Lionel Messi played just six minutes at the end, as fans were left unfulfilled on both sides after Cristiano Ronaldo missed out completely due to injury. Overall, a total dud for everyone involved, with the exception of the Al Nasser players who participated and put on a show. Anderson Talisca was the star, while his fellow forwards all were bright. They romp into the second half of their Saudi Pro League title charge on a high. 84th men, Lionel Messi comes into the match. He'll get six minutes at the finish of this blowout as he replaces Leonardo Campana up front. Lawson Sunderland also enters to take the place of David Ruiz. Second men. Chance, Al Nasser. Right off the bat, Al Nasser are into the attack and they force Inter Miami to the brink. Otavio sends Jordi Alba for a hot dog and crosses to striker Mohamed Moran, whose header is blocked by the face of Tomas Avales. Kickoff, they're underway in Riyadh. The pre-match run-up to this game has felt like a gut punch, but Inter Miami will have to learn to play competitively without Lionel Messi, as his minutes will likely be managed throughout the coming season to keep him fit. With another preseason fixture in just three days out in Hong Kong, this team is putting in serious effort throughout preseason. Their fans will hope it doesn't translate to a slow start to the competitive fixtures with an exhausted squad. Third mini goal, Al Nasser. Inter Miami concede a hilariously simple goal as Otavio blasts the hosts in front with a top corner rip. He found space by cutting laterally across the penalty area as Serhi Krivstov completely unraveled, sent the wrong way. Tenth min goal, Al Nasser. Anderson Talisca doubles the lead. It's just far too easy for Al Nasser as Adbulaziz Al Aliwa is threaded through vertically down the left from an outlandish Otavio backheel, and the youngster crosses along the face of goal to Talisca, who slides to meet it at the far post completely unmarked. Cristiano Ronaldo's strike partner was left all alone by Jordi Alba, and Al Nasser are laying on the sauce. Twelfth min, goal. Al Nasser. What just happened? Emmerich Laporte catches Inter Miami goalkeeper Drake Callender napping with a 75 yard free kick from his own half. It's a stunner. The former Man City defender takes a quick free kick deep in his own territory and chips the Inter Miami goalkeeper who's in La La Land trying to communicate his defensive organization. 18th Min Inter Miami finally have their first look on David Ospina's goal as Julian Gressel feeds a corner into the middle, but Sergio Busquets heads it over the crossbar. 23rd Min Eats, Inter Miami are looking to get more attacking possession and nearly feed Leonardo Campana in on goal vertically. 
but it's cut out by a great sliding tackle from Amrick Laporte to stop the entry ball. 29th mini dollars. David Ospina makes his first save of the match as he punches a Luis Suarez effort away from a tight angle on the left. Making his first appearance for the club in over a year thanks to a broken elbow, Ospina goes down needing treatment, with trainers looking at his right hamstring. He'll need a replacement here, which is a bummer for a popular player who has worked back from a long-term injury. Walid Abdullah comes on to replace him. 36th Min, Chance, Inter, Miami. Out of nothing, Leonardo Campana forces a nervy save from Walid Abdullah as he rifles a scissor kick from a few yards outside the penalty area. It appears to be an easy save, but the ball movement seems to give Abdullah difficulty and all he can do is get down for a punch at the near post. 37th Min. The first yellow card of the match is shown to Abdullah Al-Amri for a late kick of Luis Suarez's shin after the ball had gone. It's a deserved booking that gets an angry reaction from the Inter-Miami bench. 39th min, David Ruiz is in on goal, but as he gets a cutback from the byline in acres of space, he completely whiffs on the shot. He'll want that one back. It was a big chance. 42nd min, fight. Anderson Taliska is clattered by Gregor with a clear foul that's not called, which frustrates Al Nasser. That causes Nawaf Al Bushail to go in late and cheap on Noah Allen, which kicks it all off. In the aftermath, Sergio Busquets hits Al Bushail in the face after running in to take part. VAR is in place, but after a long look, just yellow cards for both Al Bushail and Busquets. The Inter Miami midfielder is lucky. Miami. 45 play 5 min. Amidst 8 minutes of stoppage time, Walid Abdullah is put under pressure as Luis Suarez takes a hit from a tight angle on the right, but his effort is blocked. 49th min. Al Nasser are right back into the attack, and last ditch tackles from both David Ruiz and Serhi Kriftsov are required to keep the likes of Otavio and Mohamed Moran from marauding right down the middle of Inter Miami's throat. 50th min penalty, Al Nasser. Drake Callender comes off his line and completely cleans out Mohamed Moran, and the Swiss referee points straight to the spot. It's a stonewall penalty, as Callender was way late and got nothing on the ball. 56er min, Sergio Busquets flicks through a ball to Luis Suarez, but he can't get a cross off thanks to a stunning tackle by an Al Nasser defender to dispossess the former Liverpool star. A really exquisite sliding dispossession. 60th mean. Al Nasser make a pair of changes on the hour mark. As Abdul Majid Al Sulaihim and Abdullah Al Amri come off to be replaced by Ali Al Hassan and Mohammed Al Fatil. 62nd. Min chance Inter Miami. Walid Abdullah makes a great save to tip a Luis Suarez effort over the bar. Suarez has been the most dangerous forward for Inter Miami but he can't get the MLS side on the board thanks to a solid save by the Saudi Arabia International. 65th min. Chance, Inter Miami. Leonardo Campana is in off a bad Al Nasser giveaway, but skis the chance. He's got space down the left edge of the six-yard box, but comes up empty and can't test the Al Nasser goalkeeper. The Saudi Pro League side has definitely dropped its effort with such a big lead, but Inter Miami still can't find a way through. 68th min, goal, Al Nasser. It goes from bad to worse for Inter Miami as they concede a fifth, this time on a corner. Americ Laporte meets it at the far post and head the ball laterally across to Mohamed Moran, who buries it with a header of his own. Julian Gressel, who was beaten by Laporte in the air on the initial header, appears to be shaken up, but he gets up and will continue. Robert Taylor and DeAndre Yedlin come into the match for Inter Miami's first subs, with Jordi Alba and Luis Suarez withdrawn. Lionel Messi begins warming up on the sideline, along with the rest of the Inter Miami subs, which excites the crowd, but no indication yet that he would participate. 73rd min, goal, Al Nasser. 
Anderson Taliska has the ball in the back of the net for a potential sixth Al Nasser goal, but it's ruled offside. Replay shows the Brazilian was indeed leaning just off as he was fed clean through on goal just past the midline. For some reason, it takes ages for VAR to confirm the offside decision, and it then goes to review. The decision is reversed. Anderson Taliska has his hat trick and celebrates by doing the Ronaldo CU celebration in tribute to his injured teammate. The replay looked quite clear, but on second look, Robert Taylor is playing Taliska onside on the other side of the pitch and the goal stands. Well done by the video review team. 80th Min. Wholesale changes for Al Nasser coach Luis Castro as Anderson Taliska is withdrawn after bagging his triple. Otavio, Amaric Laporte, Alex Telles are also brought off alongside young striker Mohamed Moran, who put in a very good shift. 84th Min. Lionel Messi comes into the match. He'll get six minutes at the finish of this blowout as he replaces Leonardo Campana up front. Lawson Sunderland also enters to take the place of David Ruiz. Al Nasser, 6-0 Inter Miami. Six minutes of added time mercifully come to an end, and Inter Miami are humbled by a large scoreline in Riyadh. It's deserved too, as the 90 minutes were laden with defensive errors, goalkeeping gaffes, and midfield mistakes. Lionel Messi played just six minutes at the end, as fans were left unfulfilled on both sides after Cristiano Ronaldo missed out completely due to injury. Overall, a total dud for everyone involved, with the exception of the Al Nasser players who participated and put on a show. Anderson Taliska was the star, while his fellow forwards all were bright. They romp into the second half of their Saudi Pro League title charge on a high.